And then we think of rounding the upper back, so stretching between our shoulder blades. And then we think of rounding our lower back, so lumbar spine stretching. And then we fold at the hips, we come over our legs. So if you can, get the hands to the floor without bending the knees too much more, but if you do need to, bend the knees, let the hands come down. And then we're gonna walk our hands out. And we're gonna gently lower down onto our knees. So we're on our hands and our knees here. Ready to go into our cat stretch. So just check, wrist is directly below your shoulder, knees are below your hips, and then we're mobilizing our spine again. So we're gonna point our tailbone down towards the floor like you're tucking the bottom under. And we think of reaching our spine up to the ceiling. We gently let our chin tuck in. And then we're gonna hold there, scooping our tummy in for a breath in. And then as we breathe out, we lengthen back into a straight line with your spine. A little breath in to prepare. And then breathing out, we point our tailbone down. We reach our spine up, we let our chin tuck in. We hold there, scooping our tummy up and in towards us. And then we breathe out, lengthen all the way back. Straight line. Good, two more. So we're rounding our spine. Breathing in, we hold. And then breathe out, we come all the way back. Straight line. One more time. So we're going to tuck our tailbone down. Reach our spine up. And the chin tuck in. Pull the tummy up and in towards you there. And then we lengthen all the way back, straight line. And then we'll take a shell stretch. So let your back round, keep your spine rounded. Think of your bottom coming all the way down towards your heels. And then think of the head sinking forwards towards the floor. Good, so then we want to fold our mat in half because we're using the little paper plates as our gliders and they want to glide either on the wooden floor or carpets if you've got carpets. So whatever floor you've got, you need to have the plates directly on the floor. So we'll fold our mat in two and then we'll lie on the mat. You don't have anything underneath your head, so your head is going to be flat on the mat and you want to have your feet on the plates. So we'll come down into line. Um, I like to have my heel in the middle of the plate. I find that's the easiest for me to control them, but have a little play around. They're not always the easiest things to control, especially if you're not used to it. So we're gonna start with our arms down by our sides. And we're doing our hip rolls, but we're gonna add in a little reach with the feet to make it a bit harder. So we're going to flatten our lower back down towards the mat, tilting the pelvis towards us, and then to start with, we're just lifting our pelvis off the floor. And then we're going to slowly peel our spine away from the mat, lifting up one vertebra at a time. Now, once we've got to the top, make sure you are still pulling the tummy around. We don't want to poke the rib cage up, keeping the connection between the bottom rib and the pelvis. So what I mean by that is we don't do that. We're there, so think nice neutral position with your spine still. Keeping your pelvis nice and still, we're going to slide our right leg out and then we we'll slide our right leg back in. Again, keeping the pelvis where it is, we're going to slide our left heel out now. Let your left heel slide back in and then we have the same control on the way back down. So I think one vertebra at a time is gently lowering back down onto the mat and then you bring your bottom down last, releasing to neutral. So remember neutral is when we do have that little space between our lower back and the floor, our natural lumbar lordosis. And then we go again. So we're going to flatten our back towards the floor, tilting the pelvis, lifting just the pelvis off the floor first. And then we're slowly peeling our spine away from the mat, one vertebra at a time, making sure our knees still point directly forward. So we don't want to accidentally roll them out to the side. And then again, we're going to slide one heel forwards, slide it back in, slide the other heel forwards, slide it back in, and then we slowly lower back down, one vertebra at a time, 
with the pelvis coming down last. Now obviously if that gives you hamstring cramps, don't add in the slides, just keep the feet where they are, lift up, lower down. If we wanna make it harder, we're gonna try sliding both heels out at the same time. So we're slowly lifting all of the way up, keeping that tummy drawn in. You wanna think bottom stays off the floor. Now you don't have to do this, but if you wanted to make it a bit more challenging, we reach both feet out, we slide both feet back in, and then we slowly lower back down. One vertebra at a time, releasing the pelvis to neutral last. So we're gonna do it two more times, either feet staying where they are, one foot at a time, or both feet. So here we go, flatten the back, lift the pelvis, slowly peeling the spine up. Good, reaching the feet, reach back in, and then we slowly lower back down on one vertebra at a time. Letting your pelvis come down last. Good, last one of whatever version you want to do. Just moving with your own breath. Just making sure you're never holding your breath. Be always breathing in or breathing out. Slowly rolling back down. one side for a moment. So we're going to bring our feet and our knees together, arms reach out to the side. And we're going to keep the feet and the knees glued, we're going to drop the knees over to the right, think of your left shoulder as staying glued to the floor and turn your head look over your left arm. We'll bring our knees back up and then we're going to drop our knees over to the left. So again, keeping the feet and the knees stacked one on top of the other. Think of the right shoulder staying glued down this time. Turn your head, look over your right arm. Good, we'll lift our knees back up. And then we're gonna have our feet resting on the plates again. And if you find it uncomfortable to have your head on the floor. So if you feel like your thoracic spine is a bit stiff and you're overextending the neck to get the head down, so if you feel like that position, then use something underneath your head like a little block or a cushion. If you're quite comfortable lying with the head on the floor, then you don't need to add anything underneath if you don't want to. And again, we're going to be in that neutral position with our lower back and our pelvis. So you could normally slide your hand between the lower back and the floor to your uh, lumbar lordosis. So we want to keep that present for this next exercise. We're going to take the hands, place them behind our head. Our elbows are pointing out nice and wide. So we want to be able to see the elbows just about in your peripheral vision. What we don't ever want to do is sort of point the elbows forward and pull on the head. So that's how we keep our elbows nice and wide so we're not forcing the head forwards. And then we're going to draw one heel in towards us as we lift the head, lift the shoulders, but we're keeping our pelvis and our lumbar spine still, so that's staying in neutral. So just flexing the thoracic spine, drawing the knee in towards us, and then we gently lower all the way back down. Then we're going to do the same thing but with the left leg. So we're going to breathe out, stay neutral, and then breathe in with that back down. And again, breathe out, lift, breathe in with that. Any tension at the neck here, I find if I'm ever pushing my hand back, so my head back into my hands slightly, it releases any tension you might find at the front of the neck. Breathing out as we come up, breathing in to come down. And again, scooping the tummy in as we lift, but staying neutral. And uh, we'll just one more like this. Lift. Good. Down. Now we're going to add in a little rotation so we start waking up our oblique tummy muscles as well. So we're going to slide our right leg in and we think of our left shoulder coming and pointing towards the right knee. So it's not the elbow, it's the shoulder, but we keep our pelvis level so don't rotate the pelvis like that, keep the pelvis where it is. And then we lower back down. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So slide the left knee in, think of right shoulder pointing towards the left knee. 
and then we lower all the way back down. And rotate. And down. And again, rotate. And down. So we're flexing and rotating. Flex and rotate. And down. Good. Two more. position so feet roughly the same height as your knees we're going to go into our imprint so think of gently flattening that lumbar lordosis curve so we've drawn the bottom rib down towards the pelvis gently flatten the lower back so that's just to make sure we don't overly arch our lower back away from the floor for the next one and again we're going to let our chin tuck in slightly low from the back of the neck and then we flex our spine we reach forward now we're going to lower slightly and then reach as far forwards as we can again. So we lower slightly and then reach. So breathing out each time we reach. A little breath out through the mouth. And as we do that, we're pulling our tummy in towards us. So trying to get the plates to move forwards and back, forwards and back, forwards and back. Now if that's causing a lot of tension at the neck, so if you neck is a little bit delicate, then you can come all the way down, have a little breather, and then tuck the chin in, and then down. If that's still irritating the neck, you can have one hand behind the head. Reach, down, then you can switch over. Reach, down, switch, reach, down, switch, reach. For those of you who want to make it a little bit harder, we can straighten our knees. So we really want to be waking our tummy muscles up here. I know I can definitely feel my waking up. We squeeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Relax down. Let your knees have a little hug in. And we'll release our neck. We'll just gently turn our head from side to side. And then we'll come up into a seated position. And the plates will go back underneath our feet. So one heel on each plate. Good. So we're going to let our arms reach forwards. So you want to think of there being a slight downward slope from the shoulder to the hand. If we have the hands too high, we tend to take some tension in the shoulders. The shoulders nice and relaxed along the neck. And we're going to half roll back. And as we half roll back, we think of tucking our bottom under, rounding the, or curving the lumbar spine. We reach our legs out. And we're going to hug our knees in as we lift up. Good. So we're going to reach the legs away. We tuck the bottom under, round the spine. Breathing in, we lift back up. Yes, good. And again. So breathe out, reach the legs away, round. Breathe and hug the knees in as you lift back up. And again, breathe out, reach, lift up, and again, round, and lift. Good, two more, round, lift, one more time, and we're going to hold here. Take the hands, place them behind your head, elbows point wide. Now, as we come up, we're going to draw just the right knee in, and we're thinking of our Left shoulder coming and pointing towards our right knee. And then we're going to lower back down as we reach our right leg away. And then we're going to come up bending just our left knee, rotating our right shoulder over towards the left knee. And then we lower all the way back down. And then we repeat, rotate shoulder to knee. And then down. And again, but this time, we're going to breathe out as we come up. So breathe out, lift. Breathe in down. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in down. And again, breathe out, rotate. And down. Rotate. And down. We're going to do just two more. Rotate. And down. Rotate. And down. Um, relax. Whew, well done. So we're going to do our roll up now. So the plates are going to make this a little bit harder. So if you don't want to add the plates in, then
then you're just going to reach your arms forwards like we normally do. Yeah, so remember that option is there if you need it. Also, if you find the roll up difficult, you sometimes have a small cushion in the curve of the lower back, then go ahead and pop that in if you want to. Rolled up towel or whatever you've got handy. If you do want to make it harder with the place, then it's going to be our hands that are on the plates again. So we tuck our bottom under, we're going to gently lower down, so we bring the lower back down first. Now as we come down, we're gently sliding our arms out to the side. And then we lift the head, lift the shoulders, and we let the arms reach in front as we roll up. And then we're reaching the plates towards our feet. So it does make it a little bit harder. If we have our arms reaching forwards, it's sometimes easier to control. So if you're feeling like it's hard to control the movement, let the arms reach in front. Shoulders, head come down, reach the arms above the head, keeping the back of the ribcage pressed to the floor. And then let the arms reach forwards, lift the head, lift the shoulders, pull the tummy in, breathe out round. Keep the spine rounding as we reach in the direction of our toes. If we want to make it harder, that's when we use the plate. So still want to get that same control with the spine arms sticking out to the side. So I think this one it reminds me a little bit of like making snow angels. We sweep the arms to the side. So we sweep the arms out, then we carry on reaching towards your feet. And then we go to the lower back down and let our arms sweep out to the side. And then we're going to sweep our arms forward as we roll it. You are not pushing yourself up with your hands. If you've got your hands on the plate, so I don't want to see if you sort of pushing yourself up, elbows and oh, going up like that. You want to reach your arms in front. So the hands should be a little bit in front of your head the whole time. And like that. We'll just do two more. Last one. We'll hold here. Just letting the head relax forwards. And we're going to do a little variation of rolling. So come to your nearest to the front of the mat. You haven't got that far to roll, so we folded it in two. And then again, we've got our hands on the plates. I'm going to balance with our feet off the floor, up on our seat bones, and we're tucking our head in, so looking down towards your knees with the hands on the plate. So again, it's like a similar movement to the arms that we just did for our roll up. We're going to tuck our bottom under, breathe in, roll back to the shoulders, arms front to side, and then we roll back up and balance on our seat bones. Now, if you don't want to do the full roll, you want to be, you know, you need to be a little bit more gentle with your spine. So then you can just lower down onto the lumbar spine, but keep the shoulder blades off the small. Roll back up, balance on the seat bones. But otherwise, we stay in that rounded position. We're going to think of coming all the way to our shoulders. And then we roll all the way back up, we balance. So all the way to the shoulders, and then we roll back up, balance on our seat bones. So try not to let the feet come to the floor, keep the feet lifted. Breathe in down, breathe out, come back up. Breathe in down, breathe out, lift. And again, breathe in down, breathe out, lift. Good. And lift. Two more. Down. Lift one more time. Down. Lift. Hold your balance. Reach your arms forwards. Deep breathing. Lift your feet up in line with your knees. Maybe you can straighten your knees. Keep breathing. Keep your legs where they are. Think of gently lowering your body all the way down. Gently hug your legs in. And then have a nice little rock from side to side. So just massaging out our lower back. And then we're going to stay in line for our leg scissors. So we're going to let our legs reach up towards the ceiling. So if we can, we straighten the knees, but we'll see if that causes any pain or tension in the hamstrings, we let our knees bend a little bit. But then imagine your knee has fused in that position. So you don't bend the legs more, they stay with the same amount of bend the whole time. But if we can, we do want to aim for straight knees. Hands are going to be on the plates. So a little bit like that flexion 
action exercise we did at the beginning, but we're going to add in some legs. So we're down in our imprint, we've shortened the distance between the bottom rib and the pelvis, Just tighten the tummy. And then as we lower our right leg down, so your is just above the floor, we're sliding the plates as far forwards as we can, lifting the head, lifting the shoulders. And then the right leg comes up, we lower the head down. And then we're going to do the same thing, but the left leg comes down this time. Hop is just above the floor, sliding the plates as far forwards as we can. And then we lower back down. So breathing out, we reach. Breathe in down. Breathe out, we reach. Breathe in down. And again, breathe out, reach. Breathe in down. And again, reach. And down. Good, keep pulling the tummy in. And down. Good, reach. And down. Two more. Reach. Down. Last one. And relax. Well done again. Let your knees hug in. And then we're going to come up onto our hands and our knees. And we're going to do a forearm plank. And we want to have the plates underneath our feet for this one. So we're going to start on our forearms. And then we want to slide our legs back. We want to keep our bottom about the same height as our head. So we're not doing a banana and sort of sagging down, letting go of the tummy but we're here. And then we can either just slide one knee in, reach it back, slide the other knee in, reach it back, and then float our knees down. Or if you want to, you can slide both knees in, reach back, drop the knees down. Lift, both knees in, reach back, lower the knees down. Yeah, we do one leg at a time. So we slide one knee in, Back, other knee in, back, both knees down. Yes, yeah, so whichever version works best for you. Or if you, this one is quite challenging. If you want to, you could just do one knee, reach back, let the knees come down, lift up again, reach the other knee in, reach back, let the knees come down. Those of you that quite like forearm plank, you're familiar with it, you want to make it a bit harder, we can stay there. Slide the knees in and then out. In and out. In, but listen to the body. You must take a rest when you feel like you need to. Yes, if you feel like you can't keep your form anymore, let the knees come down. We'll just do two more. Ooh, well done, we'll let our knees rest down. We'll take a little shell, so let the bottom come down towards the heels. Round your spine, let your head sink forwards. And then we're going to come down into lying on our front. <laughs> we want the plates in front of us now. This is going to be a variation of our breaststroke exercise. So arms are reaching out in front, hands on the paper plates, and I like we always do, so I know I'm always nagging about this, but whenever we come and lie on our front, the first thing we want to think is press your pubic bone down into the floor, so feel the connection, scoop your tummy in. So that's to protect the lower back, so we're not going to overly extend our lumbar spine. So pubic bone down, belly button pulling in away from the floor, Head starts lifted, so we don't want to have the head drop down like this. We're slightly extended already. And then breathing in, we reach our arms out to the side and behind us. And as we do that, we're squeezing our shoulder blades together and down. We're now reaching our arms back away behind us, but we're still pressing our pubic bone down. We're still putting our belly button in, but we've extended the thoracic spine only, so lower rib, bottom rib is still down on the mat. And then we bend our elbows and we reach our arms back in front as we breathe out. 
So it would be a little bit faster. So we're going to bring it in as we reach behind. And then breathe out and reach our arms back forward. Breathing in, arms reach behind, but it's a thoracic spine. We're trying to extend, lower back stays quite still. And then breathe out, we reach back forward. And again, breathing in, so the sternum can reach forward, but bottom rib stays down. Breathe that forward. Breathe in, reach behind. And then breathe that down. Breathe in, reach behind. And breathe out, hover. And again, reach behind. And hover. Reach. And hover. Two more. Reach. Hover. And one more. Reach. And hover. And gently release. Good. We'll let one hand come on top of the other. Rest your head in your hands. And then just gently rock your hips from side to side. So releasing the lower back a little bit. And then we're going to do a variation of our swan dive preparation. So we're going a little bit further into the extension now, if that's comfortable. If you have been told by anyone, so your osteopath or physio, anyone not to do full back extension, then don't let the bottom ribs come off the floor. If it's okay, then we'll take our legs a little bit wider, turn our feet out, so toes pointing out to the side. Again, check in with your pubic bone. So your pubic bone should be in connection with the floor, pulling the tummy in. And then we go through the thoracic extensions first, so extending the upper back. Now that might be as far as you come to, and then you lower back down. Or we breathe and we go into our thoracic extension and then we carry on lifting. Sliding the shoulders down away from the ear. Ears slight softness at the elbows, so we're not locking the elbows. Pulling up through the crown of the head, tummy's pulling in. And then we gently lower all the way back down. So we're pulling up through the crown of the head. The back extensors are doing most of the work. Arms are there to help. And then we gently lower back down. And it's breathing and pulling up through the crown of the head. Breathing out down. So as we come up, we want to think of the top of the pelvis. That bony part at the top of the pelvis is tilting away from the floor. The tummy is pulling in, pubic bone is pressing down. Very gently go back up. And breathing in, lifting up. Good, lovely. Breathe out. We'll just do two more. Breathing in, lifting up. Breathe up, down, one more time. Breathe in, lift up. Breathe out, we come down. And then we'll very gently, very slowly take ourselves into our shell stretch again. So rounding our spine, letting our bottom come down towards our heels, letting our head sink forwards. to our hands and our knees and we're going to do a variation of swimming preparation. So we're going to have one plate on the floor underneath our left hand and then the other plate is going to go on the floor underneath our right foot. And then like we always do for our swimming preparation we want our spine to be nice and straight so we're pulling in with our tummy. What we don't want to happen is let go with the tummy and over the arch in the back. So pulling our tummy in, nice straight spine. We've got our little imaginary tray of drinks on our back and we don't want the drinks to fall off. So we slide our right foot back, our left thumb forwards, but without the pelvis or the shoulders tilting. And then we slide back in. So we're think right hip and left hip level, right shoulder and left shoulder level. Good. So it's not about how far you can reach. It's about keeping the spine still, stabilizing the back. And then we come back in. Breathing out, we reach. Breathing in, we come in. Now, if you wanted to make it harder, this is quite a lot harder. We hover both of our knees just off the floor. We reach the right leg back, left hand forward. We slide the knee and the hand back in, and then we float the knees down. And then we go again. So we hover the knees off the floor. We reach the foot opposite hand. Knee and the hand come back in. We float down. And again, hover. Hand and foot. In. Down. Or you can carry on using that bottom knee on the floor if you want to. Lift, reach, in, 
down for two more. Lift, reach, in, down, lift, reach, in. Well done. Shake the wrist out if you need to. And then we're going to do the other side. So move the plate that so goes underneath our right hand, underneath our left toes. So we're going to set yourself up, spine is nice and straight. Tommy's pulling in, right hand, left foot, and then we slow back in. So no movement with the hips or the shoulders. Reach and in. Reach and in. So if we want to, we can hold the knees. Reach in, lower. Lift, reach in, down. Lift, reach in. Is that you 
end up going splat on the floor and you can't come back in. <laughs> Which is fine as long as you don't hurt, hurt yourself. So you just be really careful. of our double leg lift. So we're going to have our bottom arm resting on the plate and that's sort of making a little cushion for your head. And legs are glued together and the feet are in line with your head. So do a nice straight line from the top of the head to your toes. And then this top arm, we're going to let our fingers just gently rest on the mat. So we're not gripping with the mat, we're not going to push with the arm. The fingertips are resting there for balance, yes? They're not pushing you up, they're just there so you don't roll over. And then we want to think of lifting, leading with the head. So don't try and push yourself up with this bottom arm. But imagine you're being pulled up by a bit of string on the top of your head. So we're lifting up and the arm sort of comes along for the ride. And at the same time, we're lifting both of our legs off the floor. And then we gently lower all of the way back down. So we're going to breathe out. So we lift up. And then breathing in, we lower back down. And again, now again, don't have a short neck and your, sh your shoulder up by your ear. We always have a nice and long neck, shoulder down. And then lower. And again, so breathing out, come up. Breathing in, we lower down. Now those of you that quite like this exercise and you want to make it a bit harder, this top arm is going to reach sort of along the side of the body. So you reach away with the arm, as we lift up, does make it a little harder to balance, and then we lower back down. So if like me, that makes you feel like you're about to fall over, keep your fingertips on the floor. Or if you want to challenge yourself, then if you're a bit wobbly, that's fine. We get better by challenging ourselves. So even if you're a bit wobbly, you can stay reaching with that top arm. And two more, breathe that lift. Breathe in down. One more time, breathe out, lift. Breathe in down. Well done. Then we're going to go on the other side. So play it again underneath the bottom hand. Glue your legs together. So remember, fingertips, don't try and push yourself up with that hand. Lean through the crown of the head as so you lift the head, lift the shoulders, lift the legs. And then we gently lower back down. Breathing out, we lift. Breathing in to come down. And again, breathe out, lift. Breathe in down. So again, if you wanted to do that extra challenge, arm reaching along the side, lift up. And then down. Breathe out, reach. Breathe in down. <laughs> lift. And down. Two more. Lift. And down. Last one. Lift up. Lower. Well done. Okay, we're taking on a quick shelter release. Bottom down towards your heels, around your spine. And we're going to come and do some mermaids. So we're going to sit with our right leg in front and then our left leg is reaching back. So we swept our legs around and we just need one plate. And you want to be close enough to the edge of the mat that you can comfortably get the plate on the floor and then slide it away in a moment. If you're not comfortable in this position. So you do have to actually be quite flexible at your hips to be able to sit like this. So if you're a little bit tight at the hips, be honest with yourself, if you're not comfortable like that, sometimes if you sit cross-legged, that would be a little bit more comfortable. If that's still causing tightness at the hips, you might just need to sit with the legs out in front of you like that. And maybe sit up 
on a block or a cushion towel if you've got so just check that you are comfortable before we start and then we're going to have right hand on the plate left arm reaches up and then we're going to do a big side bend okay then we're going to take the top arm it's going to go underneath the bottom arm and we rotate it and look towards the wall behind you and then we reach our arm back up towards the ceiling we do another really big side bend and then we lift all the way back up and then we go again a big side bend stretching along the top side of the body you take that top arm it's going to go underneath the bottom arm rotate towards the wall behind you so let your spine rotate and we reach the arm back up towards the ceiling, big side bend again. And then we lift back up. And again, so breathing in, side bending. But breathe out, we rotate. Breathe and reach your arm back up, side bend. And then lift back up. One more time. Side bend. Breathe out, rotate. Breathe in, reach up, side bend. Lift up. And then we're going to switch over. So we're going to have our left leg in front again. Just make sure you're coming over to the edge of the mat so you can easily get the plate on the floor. Right arm reaches up. And then side bend. Good, we rotate, breathing out, so top arm goes underneath the bottom arm, rotating over. Reach the arm back up, side bend. And then we lift. Good, so well, not one more time, but three more. Breathe in, bend. Breathe out, rotate. Reach your arm back up, breathe in, big side bend. And then lift. Lovely, and again, big side bend. And rotate. And reach the arm back up, side bend. And lift. Now it's your last one. So big side bend. And rotate. Good, arm comes back up, side bend. And we lift. And then we're going to sit with both legs reaching out in front of us. A long sitting and we want both of the plates now one under each hand if you know long sitting isn't particularly comfortable for you then sit on a block sit on a cushion or something yes you want to lift your pelvis up or you might need to bend your knees as well so again be honest with yourself make sure you are comfortable and then it's a variation of our spine stretch pulls but this is a much more fluid Sort of carefree movement. So we're not being so rigid that we do about keeping our pelvis still and only flexing the spine and then lifting back up. Instead, we're just going to flow forwards and backwards. So whatever feels good for you. So it's quite free. So we're going to have one hand on each plate and then we're just sweeping our arm forward as we breathe out. And then we're going to breathe in, sweep our arms back up. And again, breathe out, sweep forward. Breathe in, lift back up. So you're just moving as far as you can, as feels good for you. So maybe you're feeling a bit of stretch for the legs. Maybe you're feeling a bit of a stretch for the spine. It should feel nice. So whatever reason you're doing, it should feel nice. If we're maybe feeling a bit tight today, you might just be doing a little movement. That's also fine. Yeah, remember you're the expert when it comes to how your body feels. So do what feels good for you. So it feels good to reach further and reach further. So we're going to stay at the end of our range. So reach as far as you possibly can. Take a brief breath in and hold. And then this time as you breathe out, just see if maybe you can slide just a little bit further but without pushing into pain. And again we breathe and we hold. And then we're going to breathe out. So if we, again, maybe we could push a little bit further but without pushing into pain. One more breath to hold. And we're going to lift all of the way back up. And we're going to take our legs a little bit wider. So again, 
If you're not comfortable with the knees straight, feel free to bend the knees. And we're going to have one plate on each side of your right leg. Good. So again, this is a nice free movement, so we don't need to be too particular, other than you do want to have both of your seat bones in connection with the floor. So don't tilt over to the right. Left seat bones also anchored down. And then again, we're just sweeping the arms forward. And then breathing in the lift back up. So letting the spine move. And back up. So however that feels good to me for you. And lift. So again, if we're feeling a bit tight, maybe we're just doing a very small movement. So just gently rocking forwards and backwards. If that's what is a good movement for you, if that feels like you're gently loosening off at the lower back, maybe gently loosening off the hamstrings there, then that's as far as you want to go. If it feels good to reach further, then go ahead and reach further. And we all are different, so what is right for one of you won't be right for another. So find what feels good for you. One more. And then we're going to switch over legs. So we'll take the plates to the either side of our left leg. Again, remember if you need to bend the knees to be comfortable, go ahead. We can still reach and stretch with the knees back. Yeah, so breathing out as we reach forward. Breathing in as we lift up. Breathe out, reach forward. Breathe in, lift up. And reach. And this time be aware of what your right seat bone is doing. We don't want that to happen where we lift the right seat bone away. It's anchored to the floor. And reach. And lift. And then as we breathe out, we're going to rotate our spine. So we're going to rotate as far as we can. Breathe and we lift up a little bit taller, so still a nice straight spine. Breathe out, we're going to see if we could rotate a bit further. And then we're going to come all the way back. Breathe in, lift up nice and tall. And then again, breathe out, we rotate. We're going to rotate to the other side. Breathe in, lift up a little bit taller. Breathe out, rotate maybe a little bit further and then we come back. Now don't forget, using your tummy helps. Our tummies help us to rotate our spine. So we breathe out, we're squeezing with our tummy as we rotate. Breathing and we lift up a little bit taller. Breathing out, we rotate a bit further and then we come all the way back. Again, lift up tall. Breathe out, rotate to the other side. Lift up a little bit taller. Rotate a bit further. All the way back. Go one more time each side. Lift up tall. Breathe out. Rotate. Lift taller. Rotate further. Squeezing with the tummy. And then we come back. Do the last time. Lift up tall. Breathe out. Rotate. Lift taller. Rotate further. We come all the way back. And we can let our arms relax down. Well done. Bend your knees. We're going to carefully come up into standing. And we want to do a roll down to lightly start with this. We're going to have our feet about hip distance apart and parallel. A bit of softness in the knees again. So remember, we don't lock them. Putting our tummy in. And hopefully, they're going to feel a little bit easier than they did at the beginning. So we're going to let our chin tuck in, giving the joints in the neck a little bit of a stretch first. Then we're going to think of rounding our upper back, so having a nice stretch for this vertebra between the shoulder blades. And then we think of rounding our lower back, so lumbar spine having a nice stretch. And then you can think of folding it, our hips coming over our necks. Remember, don't lock the knees straight, so a little bit of softness there, weight slightly forward on the foot. So we don't want to lean back on the heels. 
We keep our tummy drawn in. And then we're slowly lifting all the way back up into standing. So gently uncurving the spine with your head lifting up last. And then we go again. So we let our chin tuck in first. And then we think of our upper back rounding. And then our lower back rounding. And then we're folding at the hips, we come over our legs. A little bit of softness to the knees, weight forwards on the foot. And then we're going to slowly roll all of the way back up. Allowing our head to lift up last. So this time we're going to stay at the bottom. So we'll gently roll all of the way down. And we're going to stay here and we want to release the legs, just gently turning our head from side to side. And then we're gently going to nod our head up and down. And then I want you to completely let go of the head, so it's just dangling freely at the end of the neck, neck muscles are relaxed. I want you to make sure you are still pulling in with the tummy as we slowly uncurve our spine. Allowing our head to lift up last. And we're going to test our balance, so we'll lift up onto the balls of the feet. Let your arms reach up. Interlink your fingers, let your palms taste the face of the ceiling. Reach up tall, see if you can straighten your elbows. And then we'll gently lower the arms. We'll let our heels gently lower. We want to bend our knees, they're going to point directly towards our toes, but we're going to take the weight back on our heels. So bend, bend, bend. Lift up. 